Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Trinity again. I'm going to for those of you that are just joining us. And if you're just joining us, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notification. So, so I'm sure you must have checked the heading, and so it kind of like attracted you to this video. So I'm thinking today I'm going to be ranting about stretch marks, what comes with it, what brings it, the stigma that people face that we face because we have stretch mark well first of all let us start with simple definition what is stretch mark stretch mark is just a scar it's a scar that happens to your skin when it is stretched for a very long period of time at a short space do you understand what i'm saying what i'm saying in essence is that stretch mark are those scars that appear on your skin when your skin is being stretched too rapidly within a short period of time it could be due to weight gain it could be due to growth sport when i mean growth sport i mean maybe if you're into lifting weights gymming a lot and then you're developing muscles so your skin has to stretch to accommodate all those tone ties and all that and then pregnancy of course if you're carrying your bundle of joy and then just maybe your skin or you're the type that has um an elongated tummy of course you're bound to have stretch now listening to that definition now makes you wonder why people are discriminated against it why the society makes someone feel so bad for having a stretch mark or why the society point fingers at people who are confident enough to you know show their stretch marks or wear what they want to wear with their bodies let me clear a misconception there are a lot of misconceptions about stretch marks a lot of people feel that okay maybe she's rubbing something maybe she changed her skincare routine you know all the stuff that's a lie there's no amount of cream or no amount of whitening or toning cream that can bring out stretch marks on your body what cream actually does is possibly reveal green veins give you dark spots give you dark patches but no never stretch mark that is a very very big popular misconception i won't forget i think there was this time i was bold enough to wear a sleeveless and i took a picture and i posted it on my whatsapp status and someone was like oh my god you're such a beautiful girl but i don't know what you stay over being that is bringing out stretch marks on your arms and i was upset I was so upset I'm like okay fine I'll just let you slide because you're ignorant I mean who brought out this misconception who said it where did it start from where did you hear it that cream actually brings that stretch mark where please I would like to know what kind of cream brings it out I would really really like to know now the thing about stretch marks is Sometimes you just wake up and it's like you just sit there. You ignore the subtle signs, the um little white, the little whitish area around that part that the sky is about to form, or you ignore the fact that okay, sometimes your skin is looking like it's going to get really lighter than the other part. We certainly ignore the signs. It's really normal. I mean, if you're a working class citizen, if you stay in Lagos, if you stay in any of these busy parts of Nigeria, of course you're going to be busy of course you're not going to have time to check all these things but yeah so sometimes it's almost like you just wake up in the morning and you just see it all over your arms or all over your thighs or on your back and you're, you're just surprised like why why am i seeing this what's going on and then we begin to go to the wrong places or we begin to think about the wrong things it's it's exhausting it's really really the truth is, stretch mark is a big deal. It is a big deal. A lot of people feel it's not a big deal, but it is a big deal, especially to we ladies. I mean, imagine being the kind of person that likes skimpy stuff, wearing short sleeve, wearing short gown, and then all of a sudden, stretch mark is covered in all your arms. Like your, all your arms, you have these cute lightning bolts that are showing on your arms, and then whoa, you're like wow what's going on i can't wear this of course you won't be able to wear of course you feel bad of course you feel somehow i mean you don't just want to wear, put on a sleeveless gown and your cute thunder my <laughs> thunderbolt marks are showing no 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 that's like a no no and that's like a turn off for a lot of people it actually affects people's mental health it 
does i mean imagine just sitting down and wondering why you can't go out because okay the dress code for a particular event is this and then this is what my color is like or this is what the color of my dress looks like and this is the shape of it or this is the style of it but you cannot wear it because we have stretch marks showing in certain places that are visible in certain places that could come out in the dresses it is traumatizing and then imagine if you're a model or something or you get to work with your body or your skin enthusiast or your um i don't know you could be a brand ambassador for a skincare or something see the thing is stretch mark happens to anybody it can happen to anybody it can happen to a slim person a thick person a fat person and a best person it happens to anybody and the thing is stretch mark is not exclusive to gender mm -mm. It is not exclusive to gender anyone can be a victim anyone can just wake up in the morning and just see those on the let's talk about the effect of stretch mark on our mental health let's talk about it if nobody's going to talk about it let's talk about it stretch mark has dealt a heavy blow to a lot of ladies and guys too in their mental health imagine being a model or being a skin enthusiast or being a skin brand ambassador a skincare brand ambassador and then you have these cute marks on your body and you have to wear maybe tight towel to create content or you have to wear um, a sleeveless gown to create content or you actually just want to go out and hang out and there's heat the sun is scorching there's heat you don't expect me to wear jackets under the sun you do not expect me to do that but why I have to, I will definitely, if I want to avoid stares, if I want to avoid pointing fingers, if I want to avoid unsolicited advice from people. weighs a lot it's really bad it's really really bad when you think of it i see models who come on instagram on twitter and rant i'm like okay so because i have stretch marks so i cannot get this modeling job are people looking at my stretch mark or are people looking at what you're selling like do you get it's so traumatizing and so annoying and then you're just there you have to maybe forget a dream something you're so passionate about and then you don't know where to start from everything compounds together and you're just there and you're like why what did i ever do to deserve this why 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 do you have to come out now why do you have to be yourself now or if someone looks at a pregnant lady and like ah you have stretch mark of course i'm supposed to have stretch mark like how do you think how do you reason of course i'm supposed to have stretch mark my body is elastic my skin is elastic of course my body has to adjust to accommodate the bundle of joy that i'm going to bring forth so what is your problem what is your problem <sighs> am i shouting that's because it's annoying it's it's, it's bad it's it's exhausting to live in nigeria and have stretch marks it's really exhausting if you live in nigeria and you have stretch marks it's exhausting um okay let me just quickly share some tips that helped me cope with mine when i discovered mine first of all you have to 
take a deep breath and um just sit and chill and check out your body what really is stretching what is making your skin stretch are you eating a lot are you stuffing junk food or are you gymming too much or you're gymming inappropriately or what is it or are you actually pregnant it could be any of those so when you notice it don't panic take a day take two days just realize if possible you could go to a pharmacy and check your weight if you don't have a scale at home if you don't have a scale at home you can go to pharmacy and check your weight you can maybe consult your gym instructor and ask him what the kind of exercise you're doing does to your body or you could actually google it I mean the exercise part you could actually google it this kind of you're doing sit-ups or you're lifting dumbbells a lot what happens to your skin does it stretch does it tear does your muscle anything however it is whatever your case is first of all sit and find out what exactly is causing those cute bb marks or cute thunderbolt marks <laughs> to appear on your skin a second thing that helped me was I had to retrace my step. When you're talking about restricting your steps, this is for those in the category of maybe weight gain or growth spurt. You know, this is just for those two categories. I had to retrace my steps. Now, first time I realized. trace my step I had to try as much as possible to cut down my junks I had to try to pick up my good eating habits back now the thing is snapping back it's never easy snapping back to your good habits is never 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 easy never easy but if you're determined of course you pull it up so for me I'm still into tracing my steps back I'm almost there I'm mean, going back to my eating my good eating habits of course there are times I just want to drink like I said all day ah but by the time I remember that ah it's this thing that caused this thing on my hand I'm like okay just pass me that bottle of water or pla pa pass me that lemon water let me drink please just don't stress me do it don't stress me yeah we're tracing your steps and then for those of us that gym or for those of you that gym you might have to like you know take a break from gymming or talk to your gym instructor or maybe google it out and find out ways you can find other ways to exercise or find other ways to you know move your body it may not necessarily be that type of exercise that is causing your skin to stretch yeah the third one that helped me was i had to learn how to be confident all over again i had to learn how to be confident all over again and this particular step is not easy it's not easy you know, I'm someone that likes a lot. I'm, I'm someone that likes skimpy stuff. I'm someone that likes to wear short stuff, cleanless gown. I had to stop wearing it at some point, and I'm like, ah, stop wearing it. People just be looking at me. But then one day, I just woke up and I'm like, ah, is so this how all my dresses are going to waste? There's always that one trigger. There's always that one trigger for your self confidence. Please find it. Whatever you have to do, if it's however you want to do it, find it. That triggers your self confidence all over again. And then you're beginning to, okay, I don't give two F's about what you're going to say to me. I mean, you're not that courageous to walk up to me. Even if you are, the answer that I will give you, you learn how to mind your business. 
find your self confidence again it's really important if not you're going to keep wallowing in the um in the euphoria is it the euphoria no in the sinking hole of negativity i can never do this i can never wear that self-confidence is very important please find it the third thing that helped me was i had to learn how to be patient please be patient with your stretch mark it didn't appear in a day and it's not going to go in a day i know there are a lot of organic products now that help with fading out the marks that help with completely disappearing yeah some organic products are that promising but please be patient don't jump from product to product to product i think i have talked about being patient and consistent in one of my videos yeah i'll leave it at the end card so you can check it out yeah please and please and please and please be patient with your stretch mark it didn't come a day it's not going to disappear in a day if whatever you're being asked to do do it diligently do it consistently and just be patient it will go it will go hey dearie it will go another thing was i had to um put my friend and family members in order i had to call them to order and when i mean calling them to order some friends might have um good intentions about it they may just have good intentions like they don't really mean what they say but you have to let them know it's actually piercing it pierces your heart it pierces your chest it makes you feel uncomfortable it makes you feel less of yourself if you have to call them to order call them to order if you have to cut them off you have to cut them off yeah it's that severe i used to have a friend that criticized everything i wore that was revealing okay yeah so i'm wearing the sleeveless the sleeveless is not i mean i've even covered half of it so why are you complaining you should cover up you have the other gown that covers everything so one day i got upset and i'm like look i'm really not comfortable with how you make me feel i'm not the cause of it it just came out so what do you want me to do i'm pressing like okay okay i'm sorry i didn't know it made you feel that way it made you feel this type of way it won't happen again but guess what it happened again so i just stopped talking to the person not like talking talking i just stopped consulting when it comes to dressing issues i mean i just the person's opinion didn't just matter any longer yeah that's it the person's opinion didn't just matter any longer so please endeavor to take this step if it's crucial if it's necessary please do it another tip that helped me was i had to stop following the society standard for beauty if you keep thing is society standard for beauty is always in our faces whether we like it or not you're seeing magazines you're seeing um people with surgeries you're seeing people who have the perfect skin who who look like angels from heaven and then you look at your own skin and i'm like god oh, when how how do i achieve this now the thing is most of the time a lot of these pictures are edits a lot aren't so how do we differentiate how do we know so you're just going to have to like take your mind off society standard for beauty it helped me please do if you have to take a break from social media do if you have to unfollow a lot of people or a lot of social pages please do for your mental health sake do in the end you have to remember that you're beautiful with or without it you're beautiful with or without it you're going to get that modeling job with or without it you're going to um start that skincare brand or you're going to model for that skincare brand with or without it there are other skincare brands if the one you wanted to work with is giving you very very funny recommendation or funny what they call it funny specification or they say you can't meet up but move to the next one don't give up you are the shit you are beautiful with your stretch marks without your stretch marks yeah practically these are like the kind of tips that um helped me 
so um i hope that you enjoyed my rant and you were able to learn a few things from my own point of view or from my own tips please do let me know in the comment section below if you found this video really helpful and please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe too if you haven't <sighs> thank you very much for staying to the end uh and i'll see you in my next video